Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing my November favorites. I'm a little late, who cares? We're just gonna get this out the way because it's the last monthly favorites of the year. And it seems like this year went by extremely super fast. That's every year is like that, but like every year gets faster. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. I'm gonna be 25 in the first week of January. Some of you guys have been watching me since I was 18 years old. For you to be watching me from then until now, you've seen like so much change. So uh, yeah, thank you for sticking around this long. One thing that I've been consistent with is my favorites videos. So that's one thing I'll never stop doing because I'm always gonna have something new to talk about because I always gonna be buying some. The month of November was very strange for me because everything was different because I got a dog and we adopted her from a friend and she's just, the greatest thing ever. She's right here sleeping. I don't wanna wake her up. Talk a lot about her on Life with the Logans, so you guys should keep up with the vlogs if you wanna know more about G. So it's turning into the winter time, so of course I gotta talk about some of my, you know, cold weather fixes, especially for my skin. A lot of things change, but my skin is the main one that changes during the winter time. And I messed up because Thanksgiving, I went a little ham with the mac and cheese. Uh, and I was craving pizza when I got back home. What I've noticed is that during the winter time, I get really, I don't get dry, like my skin doesn't get dry, I just get itchy and then I break out. So I know that that has to do with the hydration of my skin. Hydration starts from the inside out. You can add any topical solution that you want to your face, but at the end of the day, if you are not hydrated on the inside, it'll show on your, in your skin so one of the best solutions that i found is to drink water specifically the type of water that i drink is important usually i drink smart water but even with smart water i've noticed that my body just doesn't retain regular water like it should i don't know why recently i've been addicted to coconut water by foco the brand and it's 100 percent pure coconut water they have different flavors they have pineapple they have strawberry they have guava they have lychee or lychee however you want to say it um but i like the lychee the best because it just really masks that peeness you know coconut water tastes like pure pee what i like about this is there's no added sugar or anything like that um it's not from concentrate or anything. The juice in here is 100% natural. It's 100% coconut water, no additives, no preservatives, none of that stuff. I would drink a ton of water, right? And no matter how much water I would drink, it would seem like it would just go away. I would just pee it all out. Okay, this is, this is TMI, but I don't care. I pee a lot, okay? It just fixes those problems, okay? Um, another thing that I've noticed about this, the pineapple one in particular, just a little extra for me changes your um flavor kudos to the good taste in water you know what i'm saying speaking of your uh what my friend likes to call it moochie your virginia now you guys know i'm not shy about talking about my virginia and i actually am thinking about making like a whole series dedicated to feminine health feminine body parts and how i take care of my feminine body parts how i have confidence in talking about my body parts in general and you know, the things that I do to keep them in tip top shape. Because quite honestly, I don't think it's anything, there's anything wrong with knowing how to take care of yourself. I think everything, there is everything right about taking care of yourself. It's important, especially when you have another member going in that area. So it's important to know what's going on, okay? We can have those discussions. I'm not opposed to having those discussions. I'm very open. Cause I'm a girl and this is what girls should talk about, right? This is the place. If, there, if this is not the place, where is it? Tell me. Recently, I was watching, I think, Jaclyn Hill's October Favorites, and she was talking about these wipes. Now, she said that this was one of like the things that she wished she could have invented because she's always like wondering where this product was, and that is me. That is me. Like, I've been wondering where this product has been all my life because I needed it. Now, of course, you could just like, you, you're, you could just be like, oh, I'm just going to go get some baby wipes or go get the, you know, Charmin, you know, just regular old toilet wipes and, and use them for that. However, I like these because number one, they come in small little discreet packaging um, and you can carry more than one. So, you know, you can they come in different 
little separate packages so they're easy to store in your purse or in your wallet if it's that serious for you and you really need to put one in your wallet or your pocket or whatever very discreet and i like that because you guys know i travel a lot and i like to do things on the go so to have a whole bucket of baby wipes in my purse or my car or wherever i am is inconvenient right it's called the good wipes cleansing wipe for down there they have them for men too but these are the ones for gals because of course gals and guys have different parts um but i got this one specifically because it's for down there they have other wipes that you can use for when like you go to the gym or something and you don't have time to shower um and you want to wipe your underarms or if you've been sweating you want to wipe your any part of your body basically this one is specifically for your virginia area they don't irritate my skin down there they don't get, have a really strong scent or smell and i feel like that's a little bit easier on my skin down there because i have really sensitive skin obviously that's in this, the skin is very sensitive if you sweat a lot and you don't like the scent that you give off when you sweat when you sweat you you know want to freshen up for any specific reason this is it this is what you need um and i just feel like it's a little bit easier to grab these and go if i feel like tissue doesn't cut it boom this is um smooth me ingrown hair wipes these are actually from the european wax center you guys know that i go get waxed religiously it is my safe haven that is the place where i get my life i feel like a new woman every time i leave take it all off bruh these are new if you guys have heard me talk about waxing and stuff before i've talked about the products that i use from the european wax center they have a serum an exfoliant body wash all that good stuff this is new this is actually serum wipes so that it comes with these wipes in here and you just use these wipes all over the areas that you get wax in it helps to minimize ingrown hairs hair bumps things of that nature i use these right after i shower um and i use it all over the areas that i get waxed um and i just like these because they're so convenient they're a lot more convenient than just pumping the serum onto your hands and smoothing it over i feel like this kind of gives a little bit of an exfoliation as well so um i just really been liking these and i haven't noticed any ingrowns since i've been using it so if you guys go to the european wax center you should try these out I really like these and this is not sponsored by them i've never been sponsored by european wax center but if any of you work there and you know like the manager or something can you like tell them tell them that i love them i've been going there for like seven years bro hook a sister up um another product that i like for hydration purposes is the keels ultra facial overnight hydrating mask and it says that it replenishes skin's water preserve water reserves for long lasting hydration and healthy looking skin. I used this one when I was traveling when I went back and forth to Texas. Like I used this before I went to Texas on and I wore it on the plane that morning. We had a 6 a.m. flight and we had to leave the house at 4 a.m. and it was early. So I figured hydrate, 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 right? So I used this and then I've been using it ever since then at night as a moisturizer and i let that sink in overnight man hydration is on fleek bro like i've been feeling super good my skin has been like glowy and just feeling so much better when and refreshed when i wake up in the morning so i've really been liking this one i think i like this one better than the estee edit one to be quite honest with you guys um but you guys know i love kiehl's products this is the briogeo uh don't despair repair deep conditioning mask and I've been using this on my hair. It has no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. I've been using it. It's very lightweight. I don't feel like it makes my hair greasy or heavy. I've talked about this in my blonde hair video. So you want to know more about this product and other products that I use on my hair since it's blonde and damaged, then you can go watch that video. So this month I only have two makeup products to talk to you guys about. Number one would be this Ashton Liquid Lipstick from Anastasia. I love this liquid lipstick. It is a beautiful nude. I wear it almost every day if I wear makeup. Um, and it's really been working for me. I mean, when I find a good nude, I wear it out. So that's really all I have to say about that. And I also have this heavy metal liquid liner. It's a, it's a glitter liner. This is by um, Urban Decay. I really like this. I don't know if I've mentioned it in the video before. And I really think it's a really good, like, glitter liner if you just want to add a pop of glitter and i probably will be using this a lot in the holiday season so so yeah that is it for my monthly favorites this month i hope that you guys enjoyed it i don't have anything else to talk about i usually have an app of the month to talk about 
but I don't have one. That's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? Peace out.